Welcome to the Dropbox tutorial. I am going to show you how to use Dropbox, a program that you can store your files for free on the internet, um, considered in the cloud. You will need to install Dropbox on at least one um, device, so I would recommend that you find um, a computer that you use quite frequently or one that is um, your main source of data. You can also access your Dropbox online from any computer, anywhere, anytime. You do not have to have it necessarily on one of your devices, but you should have it originally installed on your computer. So we're going to walk through. I gave you a link at the bottom of this, but I need you to go to the Dropbox referral web page that I've given you and you are going to register and give your email and you are going to choose a password and you're going to agree with the terms and um, it gives you a description if you need that and it's going to create an account for you. It's going to ask you to download you're given automatically, you're given um, two gigabytes of free space. It's going to ask you to download and install uh, just to show you around your Dropbox. Up here at the top it says get free space right next to where your name is. Go ahead and click on that there are a number of items that you can do here to get more free space. I suggest that you go through each and every one of these things. You can pay for extra space if you wanted to um, in Teams or Share. Um, on your Facebook account, you get 125 megabytes just for posting on Facebook. A simple, um, hey, everyone, please join me. If you type, I love Dropbox because it keeps me organized. Okay, so I just earned 125 megabytes of space. That's probably about 300 pictures. And you didn't have to do anything but send a shout out or, you know. So anyway, you can go through each one of these things. I have done all of these things already before, so... Um, it's pretty repetitious for me. I'm not going to sit here and um, waste a whole lot of time showing you all of these things. Um, if you take a tour of the Dropbox, this little, um, let's see, guys, Twitter. I don't use Twitter, but I went ahead and did it anyway. So take your tour which is what the little birthday one was that we started. What is Dropbox? It tells you in the tour, if you read all of the stuff that's here, it's like a little baby book. 10 clicks maybe, how to share files, files that, are, that cannot be shared. It basically tells you all the different things. And I've already taken it so now that I've done that, I will get that free space. It takes about 15 minutes for all of this to share to show up, but it says I have 2.38 gigabytes of Dropbox space right now. So I've already instantly upgraded um, my Dropbox from my original two that they gave me. Here in a few minutes, I will get a few others that will be added to my Dropbox. Um, like I said, it takes a few minutes. Um, and it'll show you down here, view bonus space that you've earned, so you can click on that and it will bring you up and show you if somebody that you've referred has, referred has been added, you will get two gigabytes, I believe it's two, or 500 gigabytes of space for each person you add. And it'll It'll tell you that they're waiting on them to install the program, which is me, and I don't know why it's waiting for me to install, but, and you will see all of the friends that you've sent emails to, or the people who've used your link, that you will get, um, by 
by clicking on invite a friend it'll give you a, a code like you just used to come to this page for me and um, I will get credit for each person who joins Facebook or joins Dropbox sorry um, and that's pretty much how it works uh, let's go to your drop ah, okay so you're just gonna click on the little Dropbox figure dude up here um, these are photos so I can link this album to my these are just some sample files that are already on there but I can upload right here by clicking the upload and you can do this on here or you can do it on your devices you're gonna tell it you're gonna upload some pictures or upload some files or we're inside we're inside the, the sample album I don't care to be inside of the sample album but just for for the sake of this you can click a whole entire folder um, and usually you can just drag and drop it I'm not in that screen so I'm just going to copy this row you can add as many as your space allows you and it will it will upload all of these pictures to your Dropbox. I will then delete those from my my folder so that I don't have them duplicated on my computer and taking away space. This is really, really good for people who are working away from home or working on a project and you need to take these files with you and you don't want to take your computer with you or you are going to use somebody else's computer and you need these files. You can organize these just like any other file folder, any other email program, any any program whatsoever you will go in and you can name these pictures you can name these folders you can put things in the, the folders you can link these to a lot of different outside programs I will show you briefly two of them that you can use um, this program with one of them is okay so these files are uploaded you can add more when you're done there's all of your files and you can if you see down here at the very bottom I already have Dropbox this is all of my Dropbox, but this is just an example of what my folder looks like. I have a sharing folder here that is called Megan's, there it is, Megan's sharing folder, and I don't think I have anything in it right now, but it's got a little picture of a person on it down there, and that's the only file that I share with other people. The rest of them are private. And with my daughter, I use um, this folder to put pictures of my grandkids in here that I have edited. And she can open up her Dropbox and view this folder of mine. We share this folder and she gives me access to it. And you can do that with this little rainbow sharing right here. You can create a folder and then you give people access by sending them an email, inviting them to Dropbox if they don't already have one, and invite them to share your folder. And you can use do projects together and you can go in and see this whatever is in this this folder they can view it and you can view vice versa the same thing on on theirs so that's how that works and the Dropbox like I said it shows up down here on your computer and that's why it's important to install this on your computer because you have this Dropbox down here and um, you can put it on your little sidebar right in here so you can access you know just like your your documents and right here I put my Dropbox right here my photo stream on my computer my iCloud usually is in here um, but all of these little these little green check marks mean that all of these files have been successfully uploaded and they are accessible to every device that I have I have another computer that's on the other side of me here that I can um, upload a a file to which I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it on my other computer so you can see it immediately updates when I save something on another computer. It immediately updates onto this computer on, on every single device that I have. I just have to drag and drop another file in here. Let me see if I know. It's immediately changed in all of my in all of my folders. So I just added And it is going to send a little notice on my screen that says this has been added. And down here, if you look, it's got a blue little recycle sign here. That means that it's something is being inserted into my folder. And it's processing it. And when it's done, it's going to pop up on my screen and it will be immediately accessible. And 
it's a Photoshop file, um, PDF file that I grabbed from my classroom in a book. Okay, so there it is. PCS Instructor Notes PDF added. So I can click on it and I can view the file in my folder. Or if you look at it, it's right here. That file was immediately added. Now I'm going to delete that file because I don't really care to have that file in there. It's going to take up a lot of space in my Dropbox. And um, see, it opened up the folder again, but we don't need it because I'm already in it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that file because I don't need it. And it should, oh, there it goes again. It's showing me it's recycling. And it will disappear. It was removed from your Dropbox folder. Click to undelete. So now I'm going to, and it's gone. The file is no longer here. It is no longer in my Dropbox. So that's how that works. And it's pretty cool because you can immediately have access to files and folders and um, it's free you don't have to pay anything for it and you get more and more free incentives by doing the get free space install dropbox on your computer i i, I will work on that i'll install it on another computer so i can get credit on both sides um, install it on all of the computers you use share a folder with your friends if you share a folder they will give you some more credit if you invite some of your friends you just click and you can go through your habit give it permission to go through your email and it'll give them a link you could share it on your Facebook and let people know hey I'm out here add Dropbox it's going to give me extra credit you can do that you can do it on Twitter or you can just go down here and do what I did and you can grab this little code here and you can post it in an email or in a link like I did and people can sign up using your link and you will get credit for it as soon as they upgrade. Now you will get no more than 16 gigabytes without adding and paying for a paid subscription for free I showed you I gave you a link to get it for free and you can use it and you can share it and really quick before we go is dashboard which is school binder this is a free schoolbinder.com website that I use for my classes and I get to um, I can add a class and I can I, I really don't use this too much but you can keep track of your grades when there's assignments due. It will send you uh, email notifications, classmates who are a part of Schoolbinder, and I can share with my classmates who are a part of Dropbox. So you get a free gigabyte on Schoolbinder as well as your additional space that you get on Dropbox. But another thing I wanted to show you is that my cell phone has Dropbox folder and has Dropbox app on it, and I use it as a backup for my pictures and it's called Camera Uploads here, and it's linked to my iPhone. And all of my pictures and all of my videos, these are all of the pictures and videos that are saved off of my iPhone, and I have them immediately uploaded and saved in case I lose my iPhone, in case I break it, it gets stolen, misplaced, and just to back it up so that I can clear all of that gigabyte. And anybody who knows who has an iPhone, you only get five gigabytes in your iCloud, and you can use that up fairly quickly. So I use this as an update and a backup and just because of the fact that I signed up for the Dropbox, the Dropbox app, I was given three gigabytes of camera space and that's in addition to my two free gigabytes that I got just for signing up. So I have in my Dropbox, I have six gigabytes in my this will take you to your sign-in screen. Um, you'll want to save this. You can access it by right-clicking on your Dropbox. You can launch the Dropbox website, which is what this is right here. And I uh, and all of my um, pictures and my web design. So I use my web box or my Dropbox quite frequently, and I think that for you it would it would be pretty beneficial. And it's free, so pass it on. Sorry that this video is so long, but I think it's worth it.